In just about 30 minutes from right now, a meeting is set to take place near Euclid Beach. It's all over a plan to revamp the neighborhood, and it's getting mixed reactions. In 2021, the Western Reserve Land Conservancy purchased the 28-acre Euclid Beach mobile home community as part of a redevelopment plan along Lakeshore Boulevard there. Now, the residents in the community are wondering what will happen to them. Our Isabel Lawrence spoke with residents there about this plan, and she joins us now on What's New. Isabel, good afternoon to you. What did we learn? Well, Jay, a lot of the residents I spoke to today say there are a lot of feelings mixed up in this. They've called this place home for years, and now about 100 of them may have to leave. And that's leaving them with the big question, where do they go and what comes next? The Northeast Ohio Coalition for the Homeless is hosting a press conference here addressing that plan in about 30 minutes, as you mentioned there, Jay. They pointed out that many residents own their trailers and they lease the land they're on. Residents I spoke to told me they've made improvements and changes to their trailers over the years, so they can't just pick them up and move all of them, especially those older ones. They also say with this plan in place, they can't sell because who would move somewhere they won't be able to live for long? Well, I got to go. So I got a year to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm upset about it. I didn't ever see it coming because I was going to retire right here. This is about retire home right here. That was the plan. I also spoke with Councilman Mike Polensic about the plan. He says he doesn't want anyone to have to be displaced. And the Western Reserve Land Conservancy has looked at the possibility of moving residents within the park, maybe to a different part of the park. However, he said just due to costs, that isn't sustainable. He says the infrastructure here is shot. So relocating and fixing existing water lines, sewer lines and overhead wiring would just be too much. And it would increase rent way too much to pass this on to the residents. Plensick says he wants to work to help find a way to help these residents. They have about a year to a year and a half until they'd have to leave here. But again, the residents telling me that this is home, they don't want to be pushed out. Mm, very difficult situation and some tough decisions to be made for sure. Isabel Lawrence reporting live for us on What's New. Isabel, thanks. Of course, we will have a team at the meeting, which is coming up in about 30 minutes from now, and we'll bring you the newest information as we get it. That's